Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, I wanted to just um, update uh, the video about uh, the graphics option when you have more than one graphics processor in your PC and that is more and more common as gaming PCs and laptops uh, come to market today the choice that they make is they actually have the onboard graphics adapter and they have the high performance gaming or graphics GPU also and the reason why they keep both one of them is for performance on battery life especially on the laptop um, cost of course is another factor because uh, it is you know less expensive than to make a special motherboard that doesn't have any graphics chip on it um, one of the things that was available in the May 2020 update was a option in the contextual menus in Windows to run with your favorite graphics adapter. I will state it again because some of you obviously don't understand what I'm saying. When I say it's not there, it's not there and it is gone if you're in the October 2020 update. Don't update your drivers, don't you know do anything or try anything. They have removed in the October 2020 update that option. Everybody that says, no, no, it's there, it's not. It's there because you're not in the October 2020 update. Okay, just listen to what I say. If you're on the May 2020 update, yes, it's there. Not on the October 2020 update. Because usually what we would do is go to a graphics uh, application or any application and say we want it to run with a specific GPU. And we would right-click on the application itself. And in this menu here, we would have run with, and you could actually run it with the high performance graphics processor if you want. It was possible to choose it from here. That is gone on the October 2020 update. I am one of those that finds it sad because I was always looking forward to doing this. I found that it was so much easier to right click and run with my favorite GPU than to have to go through menus. What do you do if you want to run them? Once again, uh, two things. There are two ways to do it. There's the graphics GPU that you have. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU or a AMD Radeon GPU, one of the things that happens is that this panel or the panels that you have within the GPU, you can actually tell the graphics um, settings or tell the graphics uh, administration software that what apps you want in the um, you know high performance GPU that's one way the other way that works fine is to go into your settings and go into your uh, system and then go down into graphics settings here you'll see that a list of apps that you can add so you can browse desktop or Microsoft Store apps and you can choose these apps and of course in the options you will have run with uh, high performance power saving or just let Windows decide but no if you are on the October 2020 update they have removed the option in the contextual menu it is not there it's not gonna come back unless Microsoft changes its mind because it is a decision uh, because they think that it's better for us to go into the settings and have a million other things to do than just right click on the uh, executable. So you can go into your graphics software. There is an option in most of them to run your favorite apps. And there is an option in the settings. Now by default, Windows has an automatic mode. It kind of tries to detect what you're running. And if it should run with the graphics processor, uh, I performance graphics processor or the regular graphics processor but it doesn't always work well even in the settings when you go and ask for a certain app to run with the high uh, performance graphics processor sometimes it doesn't always do it in games I noticed that most games actually it works well most games the automatic process works well and you actually get to use the high performance graphics GPU but unfortunately for now, so with version 20H2, that option in the menu is gone. Would be fun if it, they would bring it back in a near future. Let's hope they do so. 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.